today I am going to make caramel cracker candy and you are going to love this your family is going to love this it's a simple easy recipe so let's get started we need saltine crackers I do not have any parchment paper but I I am using a nonstick baking pan and we're going to get started with our crackers. Okay. This is a yummy recipe. And what we're going to do is just lay them out like that. Layer them. And put them in there. It's okay if some are broke. No big deal. We're going to break all of this up anyway. Okay, here we go. Yes. Now we've got our first layer down. What we want to do is get two sticks of butter. In my case, I'm using Blue Bonnet. Tastes like I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> and I'm going to stick in my pot here. And the other one. And I'm going to turn on the heat and just let that melt down a bit before I add my sugar. While my butter is melting down, I am going to crack these here and fill in this empty side of my pan. It's okay if they overlap. All of this is going to be broken up anyway, so we want to make sure that we have as much candy as possible. <laughs> All right. Here we go. You can hear my, my margarine sizzling to that. I am going to add one cup of brown sugar. Gonna mix that in. And bring it to a boil and boil it for about three minutes. And this is our caramel. Wonderful. Look at that. Mm, nice and rich and dark. And this is going to taste so good from the salt with the crackers. Just mixing that in. Still dissolving some of that margarine. Okay, we've got it boiling here. We're just going to let it boil for about three minutes. I'll occasionally stir it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Here we go. Yes. To this, I'm going to add a little dollop of milk. And a little bit cornstarch. Now that's because I'm not using butter. I'm using margarine. And I do want this to thicken up into a nice caramel. Okay, here we About go. About three minutes. And what I'm going to do is pour this. I need um, some kind of pot holder here. Pour some of this over the crackers. Here we go. Okay. And just spread it out a little bit. Nice. Okay, very quickly, I'm going to layer the top with more crackers. 
okay. Now that's layered, and I'm going to pour the rest over the crackers, just like that. Get all that caramel on there. And then, I am going to put it in the oven on 400 for about five minutes just to get it a little bubbly. Okay, Semi-sweet chocolate chips here and I'm just going to go over the top like so. Follow them. And these are going to melt down. And you can use any type of chocolate you want, any flavor, dark, anything. Now I'm going to put this back into the oven on 400 for a few minutes just to speed up the melting process. So I used half the bag. You can use more if you like more chocolate. Okay, there it is. It's out. And I'm just going to spread this chocolate everywhere, just like that. Mmm. It's all nice and melty. Yes. Now with this recipe, we're going to have to let this chocolate set. We don't want to be dipping our fingers in. <laughs> And um, it will set. It will probably take like an hour or so to do that. And that's okay. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to add some walnuts. Okay, some chopped walnuts to this. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I love walnuts. You can add pecans, or you don't, if you have a peanut allergy, or you just don't like peanuts, or any kind of nuts, you know, you don't have to use that at all. Okay. But I'm going to use these because walnuts are so wonderful. Such a healthy um, snack. And... I'm also going to use some raisins. Okay. Now you don't have to use any of these if you don't want to. It's entirely up to you. Raisins are good. I don't know. Does anybody remember that candy? It was called Chunky. <laughs> A big chocolate bar with raisins and nuts in it. Um, either Chunk Bar or Chunky Bar. Something like that. So good. Okay. Come on. All right. Some raisins on here. Well, I always like that candy bar. That and Butterfinger. Which is why I wanted to do this candy cracker recipe, a double decker, because I like layers. And you will too. And I can press it down a little bit just to make sure it sets into that chocolate. Otherwise, when we break it up, it might just start falling off. So, there we go. And now we just let it cool down and the chocolate set. Um... In a half an hour, you can always put this in the refrigerator and it will set even quicker. I will be back as soon as it's set. <laughs> These remind me so much of baklava, which is my favorite, but um, mm, I took these out of the freezer. I couldn't wait anymore. I just wanted something now. You will love these caramel cracker candies, double deckers. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. I wish you could try them. Mm. 
It's flaky and salty and it tastes so much like baklava. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. You and your family will love this. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you in the next video.